In this video, our objective is to export from After Effects a video with a transparent background. And also to solve the colored fringe problem that may occur, embodied by this unwanted color that taints the semi-transparent region of the image. For this example, we've set on purpose the background color of the composition to pure green, to expose the color fringe problem. But keeping the usual black background, or any other color will not affect the process. Likewise, activating or deactivating the transparency grid of the composition will not affect the export result. To export the video with an alpha channel, use these output parameters in the render queue panel. Apple ProRes 4444 RGB plus alpha Millions of colors plus And most importantly, set the color to straight unmatted. Because choosing pre-multiplied matted may cause the colored fringe problem. Using the format animation would work too, but this format is now deprecated, and the file size will be doubled. Finally, simply launch the export process. We won't be able to check the result using VLC, because this video player ignore the video alpha channel, and simply show the RGB channel content. That's why the image will look strange on VLC. To control the video, we can use Final Cut Pro X. To check that the export is not tainted with an unwanted color, simply place a background behind the image. We see that the pre-multiplied matted version is tainted with the green background color of the After Effects composition. That's because using pre-multiplied will encode the green background color directly in the RGB channel. That's how pre-multiplied works, and that's why we usually don't want to use this option. The straight unmatted version works correctly. That's the right way to export a transparent background. Even if the straight video looks wrong on most video players like VLC, it will work adequately on most video editing software. It's good to know that After Effects propose a special option that lets you interpret the footage and select what alpha channel parameter you want to apply. That's also why the pre-multiplied colored fringe problem may not appear in After Effects, because the software is able to automatically interpret and set the right alpha channel mode. But most editing software won't be able to do it. If needed, you can select a video and check in the project panel how After Effects is interpreting the alpha channel of your videos. Finally, if you often export video with an alpha channel, you should probably edit After Effects output module template to force the usage of the straight unmatted mode by default. In the output module templates, select the high quality with alpha settings and edit the template. Simply set the color to straight unmatted and close the menu. From now on, selecting the setting high quality with alpha in the render queue will automatically export the video using the right parameters.